All right, we're back with another Trader Joe's tasting video. We did two videos on fall. Ashley, did you get enough fall? No. <laughs> That's my beautiful wife, Ashley, behind the camera. And this one's gonna be a little different in that we're gonna compare popular snacks to Trader Joe's imitation products. I'm calling this Trader Joe's versus everybody. So the way this is gonna work is we have the popular item versus the Trader Joe's either imitation or something similar that Trader Joe's sells in their stores to mimic said item. So for instance, we have our first battle, which is Pirate Booty versus Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's white cheddar corn puffs. And so these are pretty similar, I would say. We just opened the bags. I've probably tried 80% of the things, but I've never tried them side by side. So I feel like this is the ultimate test of Trader Joe's imitation powers. And let's just jump right into it with the pirate booty versus the, uh, the cheddar white cheddar corn puffs. So texture wise, these are very similar. Do you think I should just eat them one after the other? <laughs> I think you're like offering them up. Do you think I should just eat them one after the other? I think I gotta start with the pirate booty or start with the popular version first. Yeah. Pirate booty first. <laughs> off, you, to, you off to a you great start. Keep that <laughs> off to a great start. Solid. <laughs> I think I forgot about pirate booty. I don't think I ever bought, I don't think I've ever purchased Pirate booty. This has always been like a like an office staple. I feel like we've have actually we have this more often, so having this will probably taste more familiar. I feel like I have to do another one right away. Pirate booty is definitely saltier. Mm, I think the cheddar and the Trader Joe's is actually better though. Okay. I think that's where this gets the edge. I think Trader Joe's is the winner here. So you try, you tell me if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> the way you're holding both is a little suspect right now, as if you're never gonna give up <laughs> either. Pirate booty first, solid. Mm. Oh, it tastes like flavored styrofoam. Oh, so you're, it sounds like you're leaning towards the pirate booty. I like it. When you go side by side, they're imitating each other, but they are mm. quite different. But then when you go back to this, it's almost like too much like, like calm down, it's too much flavor. I wish the Trader Joe's had the texture mm. of the pirate I like that, that's what we should also talk about too. Like one, where can one learn from the other? If this had the texture of the pirate booty, it would be solid. But yeah, I think this is more snackable because the flavor is not as in your face. I think we're thinking Trader Joe's, right? They're way more snackable. Way more snackable. Pirate booties, I mean, if there's a bag of pirate booty in like, like I said, like an office or like a crafty situation, I'm probably gonna pick it up, but I think the Cheddar Puffs win. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one, which I also have right here. This one, this is kind of like an unfair battle, I would say. They're the same category. We got Doritos Nacho Cheese. I mean, this is like probably top three classic chip, I would say, in, in, at least in the US. And then we have the Nacho Cheese Tortilla Chips, which I feel like this is like, this is like a pale comparison. Doritos is classically like, you know, not good for you, has MSG, which is not like MSG's bad thing. People don't talk about how this has a ton of MSG in it, which is what, which is what makes it so good. I haven't had Doritos since high school. And I, mean, I used to get down on some Doritos, let me tell you. There might've been a time where I was fueled by Doritos. Same. Because I would, this is, this was, Top three chip for me growing up. Okay, I was actually more of a Cool Ranch person I love though. Cool Ranch too. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's just eat these side by side. Dorito. Man. Such a good bite. There's part of me that's like, I don't even care what's in there. It's so good. I want to take a sip of water just to make sure. Okay, that's a, that's a lot yeah. there. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't had these in a while. These aren't bad. Are they similar at all? I've never they're, tried. They're, I mean, the chip is similar, but the flavor, it's almost like it's going for more of like an imitation cheddar flavor. Then this is like, Doritos is a whole flavor on its own. I feel like it's not even nacho cheese. This is just like, it's Dorito. Yeah. That's why they have the Doritos Locos Taco, because it's like, you taste this chip, right? Yeah. It's its own flavor. Oh my God. I gotta give the edge to Doritos, if I'm honest. <laughs> I, I love the way you're holding these, by the way. I like the curled ones. Big fan as well. <laughs> I'm so mad we're doing this because I feel like I'm gonna want Doritos now. It's so good. It's so good. These taste like if you 
spent a really long time wiping these off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these taste like. Right. I feel like I feel better after eating a bag of these than a bag of these. You know, I don't really, I don't know what I don't care. <laughs> wow. We have a- I feel, I feel like we gotta get rid of them. We, we do okay. have to get, we do have to get rid of those. That is a non-ruling from Ashley over here. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> Next up, this is a battle we recently did on your Instagram, but Pringles versus, what are these called again? Sea salt saddle potato chips. Like, I think right. you would just call them Trader Joe's Pringles. They should just really just call them Trader Joe's Pringles. Pringles first. I'm remembering from our last one how much I don't like Pringles anymore. And now, Trader Joe's saddle potato crisps. To me, this is still the clear winner. I think I even had them more even when we did them on your Instagram. This might just be a bad can of Pringles. This like seems extra stale to me and like muted in the in its flavor. And then compared to this, this has to be one of Trader Joe's best imitations they've ever done. Oh yeah. They kind of knocked it out of the park with these. These are bad. Yeah, we bought them pretty recently too. From Target? Those are bad. <laughs> That's a problem because that's a quality control issue. I mean, have these expired? They're really bad. We should probably check the expiration date. 6-14-2021. I already gave the Trader Joe's Pringles a five out of five, so seek them out. They're really good. All right, next up, we got the Goldfish. This is actually one that I've been hyping up in my head because Goldfish, one of my all-time favorite snacks, I would keep a bag of these in my backpack in school. In my backpack? Have you ever just tried the plain? Goldfish with the blue one with the blue bag. It's like not, it's just plain. Like plain what? Just, it's like, it just tastes like cracker. Like, just think of it like, like a pita I didn't cracker. I didn't even know that was a thing. Also, the Parmesan one is good. I think it's the, that's the green bag. But we have Trader Joe's imitation, which is the Cheddar Rocket Crackers. I've never had these before. Have you had these? No. And I think you gotta have like a handful at a time. I don't think you pop these one at a time. Mmm. Man. Still so good. These are bad. There's a weird bitterness to them. It's almost like they're like baked too long. Mm. I think these are straight, straight up bad. Yeah. Let me try the goldfish again. Mm -mm. This is a blowout. This one wins by a mile. You gotta try, okay, you gotta try these. I'm gonna try the Trader Joe's first because you're not, you didn't sell it well. Okay. I have a theory about Cheez-Its. Okay. Which are a different, completely different cracker, but I'll, 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 I'll go with you. Every box of Cheez-Its, I swear, tastes different. Okay. One box would be so good. Uh-huh. And you'd randomly get another box and all of them would be bad. Okay. These taste like the bad Cheez-Its. So you're saying there might be a chance that it's a bad box? I'm not saying those? that, I'm just saying it tastes like bad Cheez-Its. Okay, that's fair. You know, it's funny, you would keep these in your backpack. You know what I would keep? <laughs> Wait, are you gonna say frosting? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's it. That's the that's the that's the dynamic in a nutshell. I'm I'm the goldfish in the backpack. You're frosting in the backpack. And now this one, whew, this is gonna be a tough one because Pocky has been one of my favorite snacks. Now Trader Joe's, I think these are pretty new. They have dark chocolate cookie sticks. Now, so we can do a complete one-to-one -one comparison because I don't think Pocky has a dark chocolate variant, but I think they're, I mean, at the end of the day, they're trying to imitate the red box, I feel, um, as far as like the, the popular snack. We should say for, I mean, you are obsessed with Pocky. You love Pocky, but you never get this one. You get the almond, which can you actually pass me a box of that? I think you usually grab like two or three every time we're at H Mart or Marukai. They're so good. This is your favorite flavor. I like the matcha. Mm. Pocky are my favorite. All right, so let's start with the Pocky. All right, I like to eat two at a time. This should surprise no one. Mmm. No, yeah, these are so good. I kind of forgot how much I love. Just like the regular red box Pocky, solid. Oh, you're gonna love this. Look at the packaging for the Trader Joe's. It's like a thing of pencils. How fun. How cool is that? Okay, what, it has like a little insert that says dark chocolate? Yeah. So on the presentation, I mean, this one, uh -huh. it's not what we're, what we're rating here, but that's pretty awesome. Okay, I have some thoughts. Chocolate is good. The biscuit. Chocolate is good. The biscuit is not. I have another Pocky. I don't even compare the two again. Just like the goldfish. Trader Joe's, great.
Great job in the presentation. You guys should collab with Pocky as far as getting that presentation. This is the one I wasn't looking forward to from the Trader Joe's side, and that is JoJo's versus Oreos. I think I had JoJo's a long time ago, and there's a good reason why I didn't have them again. But in the in the spirit of, of doing this video, I think they had to be included because it's like probably the most like one-to-one -one imitation that Trader Joe's has. So this is almost like, this, this is like kind of like their litmus test, which mm -hmm. Oreo, it honestly might be a couple years since I had an Oreo. This is dangerous that we have That's this. That's why I didn't really want to do this video because I don't need to reintroduce Doritos and Oreos into my life. This is dangerous, like, like that. That was part of my 20s. I don't even think I've All eaten right. them in my 30s. Let's get to the JoJo. We've got to give it its fair due. It's fair due. JoJo's are trash. I can't believe they haven't like try to improve these. Like, does do people like these? I feel like they treat the JoJo's as if like, it's like their hot ticket item though. There's like different kind of JoJo's. There's so many different kinds. I think they even have JoJo Slims that are like the Oreo Slims, which I wish we got because Oreo Slims, I think are so yeah. much better. Yeah, comment if you are a JoJo stan and maybe we'll bring your comments in for our next, for our next video. It tastes like, oh, my mom used to get like diet, diet brownie bites. Snackwell, remember Snackwell? Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Did the the Trader Joe's buy snack well and that's what mm. I mean Oreo's classic. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just move. That was alright. That's a wrap on Oreo. That's a winner right there. A lot of these, man, I don't even know why Trader Joe's Pothers trying. I gotta be honest. That's kind of the verdict with I mean, the I think because people that a lot of people that shop at Trader Joe's don't shop at Ralph's or I think we are you yes, I, I often have to think about that. I don't know many other people, even we know, that go to as many grocery stores that we do. And I think we stick with Trader Joe's usually for their snacks. Mm -hmm. So the snacks that they're, they're, they're good for, and all of the, a lot of their prepackaged meals, and they're, they're their nuts. snack mixes, their nuts. In the fight of Trader Joe's versus everybody, I think everybody else won. I think the field won this time. This won't be the last Trader Joe's video we'll do. I think the next one will have to highlight what's good about Trader Joe's to kind of uh, get our karma back. So should we do another one of these? Maybe there are more head-to-head -head items, things that we might have left out in this video. You should also just comment below if there are other Trader Joe's items or other items from stores like Whole Foods or, or any other chain that you want to try on this channel. If you'd like to play along at home, we end up grabbing any of these items and like doing your own comparison. Maybe tell us if we're wrong, confirm if we're right. Tag me on Instagram, at tries. Tag Ashley, at Ashley Hosmer on IG. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another tries video next week. These come every Tuesday. Until next time, see you later.